Here we are looking for associations okay, between our variables measured. So if we have, let's say, a growth rate measurement versus glucose concentration, and we want to see whether uh, they are related there, if there's any association with them. And because glucose concentration is something we set, uh, we will be using a regression analysis to see whether there is any uh, correlation uh, re see to see whether there's any association between them so we will copy the data here and then we'll place it here okay and then let's see uh, we'll do a so regression is under linear model so, so regression will use a linear where we have bivariate you can see, so glucose concentration, so this is X and this is Y. So glucose concentration is set here, and this is the growth rate, Y axis. So we can see the, the slope and the intercept. So we can uh, copy this graph, and we can paste it here. Of course, you can also change the graph settings, the colors, the thick lines, field regions, symbol size, font rotation, etc. It's of course not as uh, flexible as a real graphing software is, but uh, as it is, it, as it's free. Uh, it's quite useful and you can save it as SVG files, PDF files, TIFF, JPEG files. So this is very useful and can even be uh, publication grade uh, graphs. This is the plot tab. If you go to the statistic tab, you can see that the the probability for the slope shows that the regression, linear regression is uh, highly significant. So you can copy this and you can place it here. Sometimes if you're looking for associations among several uh, measurements, for example, as shown in the, in the table here, as all the measurements here are variables and not fixed, so usually what you can do is uh, you can use correlation to check for any association among them. Okay, so. So since there are four columns here, so we'll, we'll be doing a uh, correlation matrix. You can paste the data here. So, so immediately they will look at the data that you have and show the uh, R among the four columns and the P. Okay. So as you can see the probability there is none that is less than 0 0.05 so there's no uh, significant correlation among them.